cost sheet in the sense how much cost you incurred to manufacture certain units drawing office expenses remember this comes under fact direct labor wages direct expenses all put together we call it as prime cost if you add everything cost of sales add profit if loss is there minus your final answer is sales A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here, lecturing with us from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Now we are in the session one of your topic called Cost Accounting and Unit Two. Unit One, it is all about theory topic. You have learned what is cost accounting, advantages, limitations, your types of cost accounting on various factors like types on the base of elements types on the base of behavior normality controllability all this we have completed in your previous session along with that a major topic called difference between financial accounting and cost accounting that is also we have completed for theory we don't take much time why because you may get 115 mark 110 mark or 15 mark from that unit unit number one max to max we can expect 15 mark from unit number one there are two sessions are there on unit one all theory part instead of studying at your home watch those two videos that is more than sufficient to remember the points i have given you some logic how to remember the difference between financial as well as your cost accounting we have 15 points if you study it is very difficult to remember all 15 i have given you logic i made some boxes those things only you are supposed to remember types of cost accounting there also i have given some chart according to the chart if you go it will be easy for you to remember all the theory topics now the next thing will be it is all about cost sheet format now your second unit is all about your cost sheet cost sheet is your 15 mark question in your examination now what is cost sheet the format of cost sheet why do we prepare cost sheet each and everything we will learn in today's session before we go to cost sheet format we will learn what is cost sheet now cost sheet is a statement that shows the various component of total cost of a product and shows previous data for comparison what is cost sheet here like you have done your profit and loss account financial statement what is financial statement trading account p and l account and balance sheet trading profit and loss as well as balance sheet similarly under trading and p and l we will find out what is your gross profit what is your net profit but in cost sheet we will find out what is your cost there are cost like what is your direct cost like your prime cost once you done with your prime cost we will find out work cost work cost in the sense factory cost once you're done with your factory cost we'll go with cost of production once you're done with cost of production then cost of sales once you're done with your cost of sales we find out total cost plus profit finally we go for sales these are the procedures we'll go step by step for learning purpose now you have understood what is cost sheet cost sheet in the sense how much cost you incurred to manufacture certain units from the raw material purchase till you deliver the goods whatever cost incurred we bifurcate and we show it in the cost sheet like your cost may be direct cost indirect cost so what kind of cost you have direct cost indirect cost all the direct cost we call it as prime cost what do we call it as all the direct cost we call it as prime cost direct cost it includes your raw material purchased minus your closing stock of raw material 
plus your direct wages, direct labor, direct material, direct expenses. Again, I'll repeat, direct wages, direct labor, direct expenses, and direct material all comes under your prime cost. Once you done with your prime cost, the next factor, next thing will be your indirect cost. As I told you, indirect cost, we have three things, factory cost, administration cost, and the last one, selling and distribution cost. Under factory cost, all related to factory, we will write. Under administration cost, all related to office, we write. Under selling and distribution cost, all related to sales, we write. Hope you are clear. All this comes under your indirect cost. We'll go in detail, easiest one, but the format is lengthy. You are supposed to remember the complete format. So, pro form of cost sheet. So, whatever I have given here, there is a pro forma of cost sheet. Before I explain, before I write something, if you want to take screenshot, please take. This is not only the pro forma, there is a continuation. It comes three to four pages. In your book, in single page, you can write. So, I need to make it bigger. That's why I have taken three to four slides to show the pro forma. Please take a screenshot at your home, write down continuously. There is no breakup, continuously I have to write. I'll go out of the screen, please take screenshots. So your cost sheet format, first slide. Continuation, see, this is your first slide, after three, four will come. In the same column, you can write. After this, five, six, yeah. Up to this, we call it as pro forma. I'll go back again. First slide, second, third, fourth. All put together, we call it as your cost sheet format. Now I'll come back to your first slide. Now, it may look lengthy, but very easy it is. I'll show you. First thing, as I told you, so how many classifications we have? Two. Which are those? Direct, indirect. Under direct, what will come? All direct material, direct labor, wages, direct expenses, all put together, we call it as prime cost. Once you done, factory separate, office and administration separate, selling and distribution separate. Three categories are there. Part one, part two, Part three, part four. All four part together, we call it as your cost sheet. So first one, your cost sheet. Now, pro forma of cost sheet in this, serial number, particular amount, total cost, cost per unit. Right now, we'll not discuss about cost per unit. We'll come later while doing the problem. Now, you have to learn only the particular column. Now, first thing is what? Part 1. What is part 1? Prime cost. Now, direct material, opening stock, purchases, carriage inward, less closing stock, raw material consumed. If you do all this, you will get raw material consumed. Again, I'll repeat, direct material, opening stock, add purchases, minus Closing stock, the final answer will be called as raw material consumed. For this, add direct wages, direct expenses, your final answer is called as prime cost. Hope you are clear. So, you have to learn part by part. Your part one is what? Simple. Raw material plus purchases plus opening stock minus closing stock, what you will get? Raw material consumed. Add direct wages, direct expenses. The answer will be called as your prime cost. First part is done, over. Go to second part. Second part is called as factory expenses. So there are almost 10 to 12 items are there, nothing to worry in exam. They will not ask you all this. This is just format. 
Out of this, they may ask you any two or three expenses. You should remember which are the expenses comes under factory. Now, in this, what will come? Indirect material, indirect wages, factory rent, factory lighting, power and fuel charges, repair and maintenance, drawing office expenses. Next, research and experiment cost. Depreciation on factory plant, work stationery, factory insurance, work manager salary, less scrap value and opening stock of work in progress, less closing stock of work in progress, whatever you get that we call it as work cost. Hope you are clear. So you need not to mug up, you need not to learn, just you have to familiar with these points. 90% they will only mention factory works, factory. So they will only mention that factory, factory, they will only mention. If the factory word is not there also, you have to be familiar with works manager, repair and maintenance. They will only mention in the question, repair and maintenance of factory. and Drawing office expenses, remember this comes under factory. What is drawing officer? Who is drawing officer? Before you start your production, you need to make a plan. According to plan, you should go ahead for your work. That plan we call it as drawing office expenses. So these are the things. So take a sheet, try to write one by one, you will understand better. Now, these are called as your factory expenses hope you are clear first step prime cost we have learned second step factory cost also you have learned add all the factory cost what you will get work cost now once you done with work cost what is the next step office and administration assume that you are running an office what are the expenses you make in the office like you have to pay salary you have to pay rent, office lighting and heating charges, printing and postages, telephone, cleaning, office insurance, legal expense, depreciation, depreciation of office equipment. These are the expenses we are supposed to make. Salary, rent, office, printing, telephone, cleaning, office, legal, depreciation, depreciation of office equipment. These are the expenses we are supposed to do. Now, all the expenses we got to know, along with that, opening stock of finished goods, closing stock of finished goods, okay? While doing prime cost, remember, opening stock of raw material, minus closing stock of raw material, over. While doing factory cost, remember, opening stock of work in progress minus closing stock of work in progress. While doing office, remember, opening stock of finished goods less closing stock of finished goods. Three stages will come. First one, raw material, opening minus closing. Second one, work in progress, opening minus closing. Third one, finished goods, opening minus closing. Three stages are there. You have to follow all these three stages. The final answer will be called as cost of goods sold. What is this? Cost of goods sold. So we're done with all this calculation. Office expenses, we have taken all the expenses. Then we added opening stock of finished and we deducted closing stock of finished. We done with your office. The last part we call it as selling and distribution. Remember, at the time of sales, before we go to that format, so at the time of sales, whatever expenses you do, like go down charges, unsold goods has to be kept it in the go down. Yes. You have to give commission to the agent, like commission to the salesman. Yes. Salary paid to the salesman. Yes. You have to do publicity. Yes. Advertisement. Yes. You have to give them samples. Yes. Depreciation on delivery van. Yes. Repairs of delivery van. 
Yes. Traveling expenses. Yes. These things comes under selling and distribution. At the time of sales, whatever expenses you make all comes under selling and distribution expenses. Remember, carriage outward. Carriage inward comes under prime cost, but carriage outward comes under selling and distribution. Hope you remember. Good. Under selling and distribution overhead, salesman salary, sales office rent, advertisement. See, whatever we have discussed now, same thing we are writing here. Advertisement, gift and samples, sales promotion expenses, packing charges, demonstration expenses, showroom rent, commission on sales, traveling, warehouse, repair of delivery van, depreciation of delivery van, carriage outward. These are the expenses. We call it as your selling and distribution expenses. Clear? All this, almost how many things we have? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 items are there. Nothing to worry. Be familiar with these things. No need to mug up. Out of 14 or 15 in the question, they may ask you any two or three expenses only. You should remember which comes under selling and distribution expenses. Hope you are clear. Good. So this is all about your selling and distribution expenses. So if you add everything, cost of sales, add profit, if loss is there, minus your final answer is sales. Hope you are clear. Good. This is all about your selling and distribution. Your final answer will be, we call it as sales. I'll recap once. First thing we go with prime cost. Prime cost, you know that all the direct things like direct material, opening plus purchase minus closing plus carriage, you will get raw material consumed. Add direct wages, direct expenses, you will get your prime cost. For prime cost, continuation, factory. All the factory expenses along with that working progress. Opening is add, closing is minus. You will get work cost then. Once you are done with work cost, go with office expenses, add all the office expenses. In this finished goods, opening finished goods should be added, closing finished goods should be deducted. You will get cost of goods sold. Once you are done with this, add all your selling expenses, you are familiar with selling expenses, add everything. Here opening and closing will not come under selling and distribution. Do everything, you will get cost of sales, add profit, if it is loss, you have to minus. Your final answer, we call it as sales. Hope you are clear. Yes. So in this, as I told you, take a book from the beginning. In the same column, your prime cost, add office and administration expenses, add selling and distribution expenses, before that, factory expenses, add everything, you will get cost of sales, add profit minus sale. Like this, your format should be. Now, I have given breakup, don't do breakup, do it continuously. After point three, in the same column, you write all this. Continuation, this one, this is the end of your cost sheet. Hope you are clear. So take one complete day, learn this format because before you go to your session two, now we are in the session one, before you go to session two are your problems, you must be familiar with this table. If you are familiar with this table, then it will be easy for you to learn cost sheet. Hope you are clear. Yes. So this is all about your today's session. I have taken less time because we have to learn your cost sheet. Unless and until you learn your cost sheet, we cannot get into the problems. Now, next session we go with actual problems. Before that, please work out this cost sheet format. So next session, it is all about the cost sheet problem according to or on the basis of this format. Thank you.